Today we're going to be looking at treasure hunts in GTA Online and how you can earn yourself a quick $825,000 cash. In this guide I'll be showing you how to find the Navy Revolver, the Double Action Revolver and the Stone Hatchet, along with the quickest way of completing each of the three weapons challenges associated with them so that you can get paid those big bucks as fast as possible. If you end up finding the video useful, make sure you help it to be seen by more people by tapping the like button down below. First one kicks off by doing some bounty hunting missions for Maud over at this location on the map. Once you get here, you'll be told to wait for an email that contains your starting target. After a couple of minutes, you'll receive that and it will mark a location on your map. Head over there and you can start searching for the target. Just look around inside the yellow circle and eventually a red icon will pop up on your map and that will be who you're looking for. You can either go the faster route and just kill them, which will get you $5,000, or you can bring them in alive by beating them and having them surrender, and receive $10,000. Once you complete 5 bounty hunts for Maud, she will let you know about some nearby treasure. Make sure you head over to this icon on your map and check it out. It's going to rake in all kinds of money. Upon your arrival, you'll find a box on the ground. Inspect it, and you'll receive the stone hatchet. A totally badass melee weapon that's not only completely free, but will also help you earn $300,000 with the kill challenges that I mentioned earlier. Don't worry about that for right now though, there are three treasure hunts in total, each of which come with a unique weapon and a kills challenge, and I'll be showing you a really easy way of completing all of them at once when we're done collecting the various treasures. The next hunt on the agenda is for the Navy Revolver, and it can be started at any time by investigating clue number one on this map. The first four clues have fixed locations, however the final clue is randomised and can appear in one of five places. The first clue is located up at the top of the map towards Polito Bay and can be found here at any time of the day or night. After you've found the first one, it's simply a matter of working your way through the next three clues before we get onto the randomised location towards the end of the hunt. Alright, so now that you've successfully tracked down the first four fixed locations, you'll now be up to the randomised clue, which can appear in one of five places. It's completely unpredictable as to which one you get, so I usually just start with A and then work my way around until I find the right area. When you search the correct randomised location after finding the first four clues, there will be a big black band that looks like this, that also has a very macabre sight in the back, but try to ignore that for now and investigate the clue so we can keep that money train rolling. Shortly after inspecting the van, you'll receive a text from a very angry killer that doesn't like you snooping around his crime scenes. Yep, unfortunately he's now going to be coming after us, but as long as we're prepared, it's not really going to be a big deal. He'll only attack during the hours of 7pm and 5am, and in wide open spaces within the Sandy Shores region, so make your way to the airfield or a similar open area like this. When you have successfully killed him, you'll be rewarded with the Navy Revolver and yet another kills challenge, which I'll be covering after the final treasure hunt that's coming up now. The next treasure hunt gets started after receiving an email that looks like this, which will show you a photo and mark the relevant spot on the map for you to explore. There are 20 possible locations though, so it's likely it won't be the same one that I got. Every so often it glitches and the marker doesn't show up until you're nearby, but don't stress if that happens, I'll include a link in the description below that shows the various locations that you can match with the email to find where you need to go. Once you get close, you'll start hearing a chiming sound, and when you see the clue, investigate it and you can get things underway. You'll then have three new locations marked on your map, all of which will contain a clue that you'll need to discover before being able to get your hands on the double action revolver. And then just do the same thing that you did in the last hunt, follow the path that I take in the upcoming clips and you'll be as good as gold.
When all of the clues have been discovered and you've arrived at the treasure's location, you'll find a rather grim looking scene and another box on the ground. Go and open it up to claim your prize. For some reason the animation decided to make my character invisible, but there you go. Double action revolver, baby. Now that you've grabbed that, you'll be informed of the final kills challenge. And a friendly little reminder that you'll need your account linked to the Rockstar Social Club in order to participate. Consoles prompt new players to join Social Club every time they boot up the game though, so you've likely done that already. The best way of completing the three kills challenges and earning those big payouts is by starting a contact mission. You can do so by going to the main menu, then the online tab, quick join, play job, rockstar created, and then missions. There's a good few options here, but I'd suggest going with the mission called peer pressure. You don't actually have to complete the objectives, and it will provide you with a steady stream of NPCs that you can use to rack up the kill counts needed for the challenges. The best part about it is, you won't get disturbed by the cops at all. You can go on a constant rampage without being interrupted whatsoever. We'll start out with the Navy Revolver Challenge first, and for this, all you need to do is get 50 kills. They can be headshots, body shots, whatever. Just as long as you take out the NPCs with the Navy Revolver, it'll count. Then, when you're finished and all 50 have been taken out, you'll get a message pop up saying that the challenge is complete and you'll now be $200,000 richer. Next up, we'll do the Stone Hatchet Challenge, which is honestly the most fun and easiest of the bunch. Access it via the melee section of the weapon wheel and then just unleash absolute hell on the local population. When you've slashed your way through enough NPCs, you'll be notified that you've completed the challenge and get hit with a $250,000 reward. Finally, we've got the Double Action Revolver Challenge, and this one requires you to take out 50 people. However, in this case, it's specified that only headshots will be counted, so make sure you take extra special care to line up your shots properly before firing. Same deal as before, once you're done, you'll be informed that the challenge is over, and you'll be the proud new owner of $250,000. And on that note, it's pretty much a wrap for all things treasure hunting in GTA Online. If the video helped you out, please hit the like button for me. And if you are new around here, then make sure you think about subscribing as well. I'm a Rockstar Games exclusive channel, and I cover everything GTA Online has to offer. Until we meet again, folks, I'm Red Nitrate, and I'll catch you on the next one.